A pause before kick-off to mark a tragic week for the city of Leicester. But there was little room for sentiment once the match got underway. A Worcester side packed with first 15 regulars had swept Sailor side in their first game and a similar outcome soon looked likely here. The Warriors had already won at Welford Road in the Gallagher Premiership and their first try did come from one of their exciting youngsters. Flanker Ted Hill has now scored in all three competitions this season. That set the tempo for the first 40 with the young Tigers struggling to keep up some fast hands from Worcester's familiar faces before winger Perry Humphreys on his 50th appearance for the club gave Duncan Weir a jog to the line. With that the visitors were well on course for a fifth straight win in all competitions and their third try from deep inside their own 22 was certainly out of the champagne rugby category. Bryce Heem with the break and one-handed offload to create a chance that was developed by Francois Venter and Chris Pennell and then completed in the corner by scrum half Francois Houhart. And the Warriors claimed the try bonus before half-time with another score that turned defence into thrilling attack and continued the team's personal contest for try of the season. Venter, GJ van Veltzer and Humphreys all playing their part before Heem finished the game as a contest. With that, Worcester's third successive win at this venue was in the bag, making them only the third side in 40 years to achieve that feat. And even against vastly more experienced opposition, it had been 40 minutes to forget for Leicester. They had to improve, and a tetchy start to the second period, which saw Anton Bressler and Darren Barry Sinbin for the Warriors, gave them their chance. Tom Hardwick held up five metres short, but Gareth Owen nipped in for the Tigers' first try. That stirred Worcester into one last meaningful action, yet another score to savour, as Heem took advantage of an all-too-obvious mismatch in pace and power to add his second try of the game. Leicester showed the potential in their ranks to have the last word, Joe Ford's lovely pass sending Tom Raffel on his way, but it wasn't enough to prevent Worcester's biggest ever win at Welford Road. Five tries, five points, five wins in a row. They're the team to catch in this competition and are well clear in pool two ahead of next week's meeting with Saracens.